You saw those things. Good morning, and they were developing up to the north in that outflow boundary. You know, watch on radar. And I was like, "Come on, come on!" And all of a sudden, and that thing, because we're not too far from each That's other, right. sat there. Yes, it did. Wow, the airport, uh, fifteen hundredths of an inch of rain officially. I, I must have had at least a couple of inches. Yeah, you so, did too. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to be the case again. You know, of course, not everybody saw rain yesterday, and that'll be the case again uh, this afternoon with more of those showers and thunderstorms popping up. This morning, nothing on radar right now. We've had some uh, hints of fall. Now, about 45 minutes ago, Bernie stage was down to just over a mile. Visibility has come back up. Nothing's being reported elsewhere in the metropolitan area. Some fog off to the east of Gonzales, as well as Victoria and a hint of it up around Austin. But with the moisture in the ground and we have had some clear skies overnight, and those are a couple of the ingredients to feed some of this fog. So uh, just keep an eye out for the next few hours. And as we approach sunrise, that's sometimes when the fog gets a lot thicker. Mold is on the low side. It's probably a venture guess going to be going up later on today uh, with all that moisture in the ground. Yeah, it's not bad out there temperature wise. I mean, 72 degrees. Yes, plenty of humidity in that patchy fog here and there. And then later on this afternoon, uh, we'll have sort of a mixture of sunshine and clouds, some scattered showers and thunderstorms around the air, about a 40% chance for some rain. It is going to be hot today, 94, still not quite up to a normal high. We're going to be staying mid and maybe even upperish 90s as we approach the uh, end of the week and a couple more days with a stray shower or two. More on that in just a few moments. Steph, Mark.